Giga Texas is 90% done. But how big is it as measured by Bananas, Malls of America, Amazon Warehouses, and Gordon's Johnson? I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. A quick thanks to newest Patreons, Chuck White, JD, and James Nickel. Very cool. And please, to the rest of you, smack the like button early so others might actually get to see this video. Because YouTube, you know, doesn't like to show it to people. Come on. It's free and appreciated. So we're going to look at a bunch of odd and even not so odd metrics in a bit. But first, let's take a look at the weekly progress of which there's, you know, not much left to be done. So here's the graph and yeah, there's not much to say about it. Frames are going up, roofs are going on, interior work is underway. Phase one is getting close to done and we will talk about phase two a little later on. So the site's progress is at 90%, and we'll still likely have another three or four weeks of modest jumps before this slows down into the long tail, awaiting interior areas to catch up. So before we get on to the timeline predictions, let's look at the comparisons you guys requested in the comments last week. How many Model 3s is it? Well, 184 inches in length, 6.3 meters, by 73 inches width, 1.8 meters, for a total of 48,000 Model 3s you could fit on the ground floor alone. Bit silly. That doesn't sound right, but apparently it is. How many bottle caps? Well, the total size is 3,820 by 1,180 feet. A bottle cap is about an inch, two and a half centimeters, so... 144 times that? 638 million on the ground floor, about 1.3 billion if you include the upper floors, and by volume, significantly more. How many Amazon warehouses is it? Well, the average there is 800,000 square feet, 74,000 square meters, so 11 of those. The largest I could find was 3.7 million square feet, 340,000 meters squared, so two and a half of those? Yeah, it's big. How many malls of America? 4.8 million square feet there, 446,000 meters squared, so almost twice the size, or rather, Giga Texas is bigger than Mall of America plus the world's largest Amazon warehouse. For a more serious comparison, let's look at the Wikipedia page for the world's largest buildings by a few different metrics. The largest building by usable volume is the Boeing plant in Everett, Washington, with 472 million cubic feet, 13.3 million meters cubed. Well, Giga Texas is, you know, 80 feet tall, we'll say 70 to account for the floors in between. So the volume would come in second on the list at 315 million cubic feet, or 8.9 million meters cubed. For further wow factor, the volume of the Great Pyramid of Giza is 92 million cubic feet, 2.6 million meters cubed. So if you dismantled it and placed it inside Giga Texas, not only would it fit with room for two and a half more of them, it would also sink into the ground, destroying the building in the process. So please don't do that. Which reminds me of the great old joke, why is the Great Pyramid of Giza the biggest pyramid in all of Egypt? And the answer is, because it wouldn't fit in a British museum. For the footprint, I can only assume this list is incomplete, but the 9 million square feet, 836,000 square meters, upon completion would make it second only to the Lada factory in Russia. For floor area, it appears to come in number 12 behind mostly airport terminals, although this airport terminal here includes three buildings connected by a train, which is nonsense. By that reasoning, half of Manhattan is a single building. I notice Giga Texas now shows up on this list at 8 million square feet, according to Bloomy, which does not cite their source. Wow. They got that from me, didn't they? Uncredited. Well, they don't call them the Bloomburglers for nothing, I suppose. 
Now, I'm sure many of you will take issue with this list from Wikipedia, and I'm not going to defend it, but a lot of factories I've seen suggested as being significantly larger are not individual buildings, but a campus with a handful of buildings. So keep that in mind. It will also be about one-third larger than the Pentagon. Even as of today, it's roughly equal to the size of 49 Walmarts, or 85 Home Depots, or 30 Ikeas, or 185 football fields. Not the footy kind, but the American hand egg variety. My favorite question was how much solar can they put on the roof? Well, the roof area is almost 100 acres. It takes 5 acres to produce 1 megawatt, so 20 megawatts total, or at 50% coverage, 10 megawatts. You know, roof vents and access and whatnot. Annually, that would produce about 14,700 megawatt hours with a retail value of about $400,000. Well, how does that compare to the actual consumption? Not well. The average factory producing a thousand cars a day would use several hundred thousand megawatt hours per year. So this would only offset 5% at best. But Elon did say they planned to add additional solar panels at ground level. There's one more silly metric, but I'm saving that to the end, so stick around for that. Ah, <sighs> well, that was exhausting. Let's take a look at the sitemap. So this is what Giga Texas looks like as of November 8th, 2021. And you'll notice the addition of the Phase 2 section as well. But first, let's roll it back to December 14th when this tracker was first launched and go through it as we do week of a week. To understand the sitemap, this is the overall footprint of the main building. The orange is the footings, with the darker orange being heavier footings. The gray is the framing work, with the darker gray indicating roof sections. In blue, you see the finished interior closed off space, with darker blue indicating more floors. Yes, we track the floors. So the darker the blue, the more floors that there are. The black lines indicate a firewall or expansion joint, with the heavier black lines indicating a concrete wall. And as a reminder, this only tracks the main emerald footprint, not any of the other projects around the site, since we haven't seen permits and we don't know what their eventual size and scope will be. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. So there it is, and there you go. As of November 8th, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of Yo Cybertruck, is 90% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in a total of 526 days from groundbreaking on or about December 28th of this very year. It will actually be done in some capacity well before then, and also not completely done until sometime quite a bit later. It's all a matter of how you personally decide to count it. So, tell me in the comments, when do you think the factory will be done? Not the date, but the milestone. First production? Last wall going up? Sometime after that, when all of the interior is fully outfitted? What's completion to you? My Patreon, Pat, asked me to consider adjusting the math to account for the design changes that shifted a lot of the interior work from Phase 1 to Phase 2, but I feel that would be dishonest to change my methodology this late in the series. And not for nothing, but those areas are not finished, and from the trucks we see unloading at the south end, it does appear to be underway. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified, follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast, and a smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me your wisdom and suggestions in the comments below, and as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the production side 
of this very quarter. And a quick thank you to my amazing gracious Patreons who get early access, bonus content, an ad-free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. Yeah, I move the shout out to the end as a thank you to all of you for your generosity and support, which helps me avoid having to pander to YouTube's dreaded and painful algorithm. I thank you guys so much. The bonus. The other fun question was how many of these gigafactories would fit on the dark side of the moon? Now, I assume you mean the far side of the moon. Moon is 14.6 million square miles, 38 million square kilometers. Half of that, 7.3 million square miles. It was that 17 and a half million square kilometers. So that would mean you could fit 22,612,480 of them if we're counting square footage rather than footprints. And we should because, you know, you're going to need parking outside. And if we're going to put it on the dark side instead of the far side, we're going to need tracks and solar panels to move it. And it's going to be a whole thing. I don't recommend it. The bonus? Ah, uh, yes. I was asked to measure the factory in Gordon's Johnson. Well, since it would be cruel to stack him, I went with end to end, not even shoulder to shoulder, just lay him down. I used the most generous airline seat width of 18 inches, that's about uh, 45 centimeters, and try as I might, I could not find his height. I've only ever seen him without a frame of reference, so I'm going to assume he's four foot two. If he'd like to come on the channel to dispute that, he's welcome to. But I assume puberty was his busted growth story. So with that math, we get 917 Gojos in length by 787 Gojos in width for a total of about 721,000 Gordons Johnson. Silly, I know, but... It was one of life's burning questions, and it would have been rude of me not to provide an answer.